Hey everyone! Today I have a really cool smartwatch from a company called Nubia to review. Now, there is kind of a funny story behind this company name. It comes from new cow, B, vagina. Wait a minute, why would you call? Well, newbie is slang for awesome in Chinese. It used to be a bit vulgar, but it's common now. I mean, maybe don't say it in front of your Chinese in-laws, but otherwise it's okay. Anyway, I've never heard of Nubia until they made this watch. We have a lot of cell phone companies that made generally good but unremarkable phones. This product really sticks out though, and they're calling it a wearable smartphone. Let's unbox it and see if it lives up to that. So I watch a lot of unboxing channels, and for some reason, the dudes always want to use some crazy deadly looking knife to open a box. When the box cutter is the Y2 for the job, since it has an adjustable depth so the blade won't hurt the contents, I mean, I can't really throw stones in my glass house. I unbox things in funny clothes so I can't talk. But I decided I should try it out myself and see if it makes the unboxing better. Chinese style. The best part is I actually borrowed this from the auntie next door. It's her extra one. Only in China can you get in an elevator full of old people arm for war off to do their morning exercise. Okay, let's give it a shot. So this is the Nubia Bluetooth earphone because the Nubia watch doesn't have an earphone jack. Let's uh, open the box and see. I think this one has the watch. Ta-da! So here's the You'll be a watch. Okay. What is in here? Or just to make it solid, to protect it, to protect the watch. Okay, there is. Let me peel this off. So I took some links out because before it was too loose. Now it's still, it is a, still a little bit loose, but it is okay for this. Okay, the instruction comes in Chinese, but don't worry, they also have the English version. In this video, I will guide you step by step. So the first step, of course, to power it on. To power it on, we need to long press the power button until we see it on, okay. All right. Okay, at first they ask you to set the language. I'm going to set it as English. Okay, next. User term. Next. Please scan to start your, oh. Sorry, there's a little bit of reflection of the light. It says it's pairing. Please accept pairing request on wearable phone. Pair. Pair with OnePlus 5. Pair. So uh, on my phone, it says pairing success. And on the watch, it says please compete settings for your wearable phone on your phone okay gender female next birthday so let's go back to watch 
Okay, let's take a look at the interface. So there's phone on, on the first page, there's phone, camera, and the, I don't know what's about the heart. I, oh. Two finger pinch, I know, okay. Detecting how, oh, sorry. Detecting. So this is for detecting my heart rate. 81 B per minute, <laughs> all right. Okay, cool. So if I do that, I pinched it, it exits, right? Okay, and then there's the picture. So you can see there is the front camera. Wait, oh, I'm also recording myself. Okay, stop. And there are like four filter for you, four filter for you to select. And after I, t after I took it, and I just took a picture. Where do I see? Oh, okay. So this is the picture I took before. I think. Yeah, this is the picture. Delete. Right, that's the video. So for the video, what? Oh, okay. There's the volume for you to adjust it. I think for when you're watching your own video, you can adjust the volume, and also you can share your video for WeChat or delete. Okay, and then do the same thing. Pinch. So you pinch it, and then it exits. Exits. Okay, let's see. So on my phone. For the app, there is account management, device management, device management. Okay. But I don't see like, they have a sync management. They can sync your phone book and uh, your messages to the watch. Music management, you can sync the songs uh, through your phone and then to the wearable one. I mean, to the newbie. Yeah. Today's step number, if I walk, it will uh, record your uh, steps and then I think you can, I don't know if you can share it with your friends and like compete with, with each other because uh, some other watches do. Call. So if you want to call anybody, you can, you know, call from here and because it is connected to your phone, I think you can uh, accept calls from your watch you speak to the speaker on your watch when you receive a call from your phone okay see messages we check we check okay they can use we check on here so go map alipay that's pretty convenient they have alipay in here so that I could like show people my QR code and people can scan it through my watch. So that's the first page. The second page is more about fitness, health, outdoor running, outdoor working, work walking. Yeah, and I'm not gonna work work workout. Not in a million year. Music. So. This music definitely connected with my phone. Let's see if I can play some music here. Okay, let's see. Imported one, I imported one in it. Okay, imported one song. Okay, now I imported one song for my phone and I'm going to play it and see what's going on. I just click it. So if I hit play. Okay, there's sound on my watch. So because I just sing, I just imported the song for my phone and it automatically shows up in my watch. Oh, wow. I, I clicked the search phone. Your phone has been found and it's now ringing. Stop ringing. Holy crap. Wow, that was so convenient. You know, I, I, whenever I try to um, find my phone, I have, of course, I have to use other phone to call it. But if it's paired, I don't have to. Wow. So I talked to my friends and I asked her to call me because on uh and I noticed one thing on my watch, my WeChat does not have the conversation uh function, only like the talking function. I can hold to talk, but I cannot hold to type. So yeah.
好好,好，看能看到我吗？能看见了。那你把你的那个放到，就是手手臂要伸长，因为我那个跟你那个是，<笑>你笑啥？<笑>就很帅，好吧？今天放把那个放到手臂的位置，因为你你我知道你应该只看到我的笑吧。对，就是手臂伸长的位置，我我这个也是不是很大，这个可以了，可以你可以吧？你很搞笑，你今天样子。就是我刚好是可以看到，相当于是从下面往上看那个。啊不不不，你不用看我，你不要看我那个双下巴，我太太太委屈了，我也没办法，它就那么大，你看胸就好了。<笑>没事，我也太委屈了，实在是，真的是这个气死我了。算了，不要不要看我，我看你就行。好了吧，那行，能能能，就是你，也就是看我的时候，在你手机上也是，也就是这么大一个屏幕是吧？就很小那个屏幕。我截个图，我截个图给你。好。好，谢谢。那那我下个星期去找你，好吧？去哪里找我？呃，我现在在西安，可能过几天我要去成都。好了好了，那行吧。深圳吗？呃。那行吧，那微信联系好，拜拜，拜拜。Okay, pros, the touch interface is beautiful. I'm really surprised. I don't often see such a nice UI from a Chinese company. Whatever happens with this watch as a product, its interface sets a high standard. The form factor is great. A screen that wraps a third to halfway around your wrist is fantastic and very usable. The build quality is excellent. The watch is fast and responsive. Okay, now the cons. <laughs> Honestly, the watch is a bit big for an average woman. I mean, let alone a small woman like me. I don't think they were being sexist. Women buy 48% of all smartphones and only 30% of watches. I think it was just a business choice based on those numbers, but I also think at 30% plus teenagers and men with slimmer builds, I would have made two sizes. That's just me though, and tooling is expensive. Next, I am a cyberpunk geek. I want a wrist computer. I love wearing my phone on my wrist, but I want a full size screen. Take this screen, make it wider. Go. All the way and give us a real full blown, slick, futuristic wrist computer. All the tech to do it is there now. Just not the willingness to take a chance on a new form factor. Okay, that's my review of the Nubia Alpha smartwatch. I'll put the link in the description box. Thanks for watching. The more followers I get, the more cool stuff I can review. So please share my video. All my videos are Creative Commons license. So, provided you have my name and the link clearly displayed, you are welcome to use my videos or any portion of my videos on your own YouTube channel, even with your own ads and affiliate links. That's it for today. I'll see you all next time. And remember, if I can do it, anyone can do it.